Nearly even while livestock were slumping on Tuesday, wheat, however, made some modest gains. Agnes Michelle Rook is looking to help farmers with marketing in markets now. Joining us with market analysis, Chip Nellinger, Blue Reef Agri Marketing. Well, Chip, we have soybean prices sitting at three and a half, four year lows and a record crop seemingly coming. So, what is your marketing advice for producers in this environment? Yeah, it's a tough one, Michelle. It's very individualized. There's not a one size fits all. I think, first and foremost, you have to look at where your crop insurance coverage is. And, you know, it depends on the coverage level you take. But, um, you know, just do a review of your crop insurance and figure out where is your guarantee. Take what you think your actual yields are out in the field right now, which I know is impossible to predict, but get a good realistic, um, you know, assessment of those yields and divide it back into your crop insurance guarantee. And that'll tell you what price level beans have to be in order to kick in a crop insurance payment. It might, you might find out that it's far below the level that we're currently trading. If that's the case, then you have to back in and say, all right, what do I need to be doing here? Can I store my beans? There's plenty of carry in the market. Uh, what's the basis, um, you know, look like out there? And so I, I think as you get ready to go to the field to harvest here is definitely not the time to uh, kind of put the markets to the wayside here because there still could be some, some uh, you know, decisions to be made. And if your yields are big enough with enough carry in the market, that yield could actually get you closer to uh, the revenue revenue you need. How do you capture the carry that we have in the market? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, the only way to capture it is to go out and either make a forward sale out in the future, January, December, January, February, March, uh, even if you want to or typically hold that out into um, you know spring and summer. You have to go out and either make a forward contract or an HTA sale, which is setting the futures price now, waiting till later to set the basis. But you actually have to make that actual sale in order to lock that carry in. You could do a futures hedge as well with a deferred uh, short sale. I don't know that there's a lot of old crop bushels out there yet, but if someone has an old crop, is there anything they can do there marketing-wise? No, I don't think you have a lot of time to do this. Uh, I think the time is, you know, maybe days to, to uh, a week or 10 days, but there may be some basis pushes out there to be had uh, if it's a kit situation where we need to kind of uh, make room and get these final sales made of old crop. Thanks so much, Jim Nelliger, Blue Reef, Agri Marketing. We'll have more Ag Day coming up.